Welcome to the Maldives. 1,200 beautiful islands surrounded by some of the biggest coral reefs in the world. Stretched over 2,000 kilometers, they're home to countless marine species. But the islands are also in danger. Meet Hassan Ahmed. This diving fan and native of the Maldives has seen more than half of the coral surrounding his island die in recent years. You can identify your coral when it's dead. Um, there won't be any color on it. When you go near the coral, uh, you can't see any coralites alive or any animal in the coralite alive. So. Algae will be grown on top of it. It will look like a rock. It's a dire sight. Live coral has all but disappeared, and the seabed is covered in sand and rocks. There are multiple reasons behind this ecological disaster construction around the atoll and rising water temperature. In 2016, El Nino had a devastating effect on the region. The temperatures of the water were exceeding the threshold that the corals can survive. So by the heat of the water, the corals got bleached. That year, 60% of the island's coral reefs were damaged by El Nino. And because it is a recurring climate phenomenon, Hassan Ahmed is preparing for the next one. Can you have a tool? With the other members of the organization he founded, he's trying to find a new way to safeguard coral reefs. He's gluing these pieces of healthy coral onto bricks and hopes that will start a new colony. So now you can see we are keeping a space here, right? So when they start growing, our expectation is to them to fuse together. So when they grow all of them together, it can be one big coral. If it works, he wants to replicate the method to bring back life to the waters surrounding the Maldives. Just a few kilometers away, another method has already paid off. Let's go. Amélie Garot is a marine biologist. She works for a foundation here and is in charge of a coral reef reproduction program. For a marine biologist, the Maldives is one of the best countries in the world. It's a unique country with unique marine life. Last year, she installed 200 metal structures that had different coral species attached to them. Since then, they've grown and blossomed, attracting new marine life. All of the coral we planted is doing really well. We can tell that they've grown and that fish are coming to the area. It's had a really positive impact. The Maldives have about 250 different types of coral species. Zuna Nassim thinks everyone should be involved in protecting them. So are we ready for our dive today? She was the first woman in the Maldives to get a diving certificate. Now she gives out free classes to teach children about the importance of protecting coral reefs. If you don't love something, you can't protect it. You have to fall in love with the reef, with the ocean. Then only you put the effort to make sure that it remains. She takes the children to an area where the reef has been damaged so they too can be witnesses to the ongoing disaster. You yeah, like the fish are leaving their homes. The most fish there is the, the beautiful the ocean will be. And that's why I feel it's, it's very sad that we're losing corals. The environmental aspect is only one side of the crisis. Preserving coral reefs is key to the Maldives' survival. With 80% of the archipelago less than one meter above sea level, Reefs play a vital role in protecting it from rising waters.